So hey guys, uh, obviously we had an interruption and the, this is part two. Uh, if you were catching part one um, here a couple minutes ago, we just got an interruption and we couldn't splice this portion into that video. So we got uh, finishing up the next 10 minutes or so on what we've been talking about, about the blessing of God, the armor of God from part one, and we Psalm 91. So uh, Ken's going to finish that uh, verse up in Psalm 91 as we talk about the covenant of divine protection in the armor of God. Yeah, it says, I'll be, I'll be with you in a time of trouble. I'll deliver him and honor him with long life and satisfy him and show him my salvation. Wow. Wow. Yeah. That's really powerful. Mm -hmm. So we were talking in the first video about how the armor of God, you know, David writes Psalm 91, mm -hmm. talks about this covenant of protection mm -hmm. and how David was armored with the armor of God, although he didn't realize that's what it was when he went to face Goliath. Right. Now, years later, he's writing this. David lives... He outlasts every assignment, Absalom, Saul, Goliath, all of the threats to his life over the years. And, and David lives to be, God satisfied him. It's interesting, this terminology, because this is what God also promised to Abraham back in the day. He said when he gave him in Genesis 15, where you can find this, where God gives him the, co gives him the covenant of not just... Um, the land, but that many people would come from him and mm -hmm. that they'd be in Egypt for 400 years and mm -hmm. he'd bring them out with great wealth and deliver them and take them to the land of that uh, Abraham had been in. He said, but you're going to die in a good old age. Right. Bless you with long life. Yeah. Yeah. So David says the same thing here. So that's mm -hmm. part of the blessing. Mm -hmm. The armor of God protects us even physically in, in divine protection. So that being said, we want to kind of finish up by going to Psalm 103. Um, and and looking at what David says here, he says, uh, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and everything that's in me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, verse 2, O my soul, and forget none of his benefits. Forget none of his benefits. So, tying it back to the armor of God, the armor are his benefits. They benefit us in our battles. They benefit us. So you think about the armor of God protecting our mind. The Word of God changing our mind. When you feed your mind the Word, right. it begins to change it. And then God's thoughts begin to shape ours. Right. And then God's speech begins to shape ours. And so those are benefits. But David says here, don't forget about them. The word forget means to ignore them. To cease to care or to let them wither. So it, he's, he's saying actually be intentional about paying attention to those benefits and then the, the covenant protection and the armor of God and using it, applying it daily. Right. Um, are benefits that God has gifted us with hmm. to use. Uh, you used the term early in the first filming, uh, dress for success. Right. And um, this is literally what God does through the armor of God and the blessing of Psalm 91, one, that, or so the whole Psalm 91, the covenant of that, God has dressed us for success. And dressed us for victory. Dressed us for victory. Yeah. Success in battle. Right. So, um, practically speaking, what are if we're not going to forget his benefits, what is a benefit of um, the helmet of salvation? When the enemy comes against us, Let's it just, guards your mind. It guards your mind. You know, the right. Word of God. You you grasp hold of the Word of God because you're feeding your mind mm -hmm. that Word on a daily basis. And when that when something comes against you, you pull you pull the Word of God out and yes. use it against it. So the more Word you have in you, right. the more empowered you are to work the Word on your behalf, right. Right. and the more your your thinking gets changed. So the helmet of salvation is God. You know, where Paul says we have the mind of Christ. Mm -hmm. I've always been intrigued by that because it doesn't say we have the heart of Jesus right. or the spirit of Jesus. We know those things. Right. But in that context, he says we have the mind because how you think affects so much. Change your thinking, change your living. So mm -hmm. God gifts us with supernatural grace in the helmet of salvation to mm -hmm. be able to help change our thinking right. and also to deflect. Because when you get trained, when you get trained in truth, in the knowledge of truth in your mind, mm -hmm. You're, you now have, you now are able to discern in a moment the instant that a lie 
or something negative comes against you, it's like, aha, before I would have received that as truth, but now I don't, have, now I don't receive it, I reject it, I oppose right. it. Right. Now I'm standing against the evil that's coming against me. Mm-hmm. So by putting on the helmet of salvation, it's, it's knowing who you are in Jesus and abiding in Him, and when I'm in Him, I can rest that the truth He's given me will work for me. Mm-hmm. So you use truth. Correct? Right, right. On your behalf. Yeah. Even the breastplate of righteousness, you know, guarding your heart. I mean, that's where the Holy Spirit dwells. It comes into your heart, into your, and, and you want to guard that. Right. You know, that's holy. That's holy. So, to guard that is 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 feeding your mind, and what comes in your mind, you know, it it feeds the heart, the soul, the you know, the whole the whole body. You know, you. You're, you're really, you're truly living, you know, you're living out the Word of God and, and just guarding yourself against the enemy and, and the wiles of the devil that wants to come against you and, and distract you yeah. in, in your Christian walk. So. so so since, how many years have you been a believer? Just out of curiosity. 1977. 1977. You think it's going to stick? Think you're going to stick with it? I think it might, <laughs> yeah. 77. So let me do the math real quick. That's uh, over 40 years. Yeah. 42 years. Wow. Yeah. So, over that time, have you seen God change both your heart and mind over time? Oh, uh, yeah. Some stuff instant, yeah. but others progressive, right? Sure, sure. How has that change played out as you've walked in new information and learned more mm-hmm. of the Word and taken it deeper, mm-hmm. take a deep dive in the Word? How, how has that changed with you? He says it changes daily. Okay, so It's does, a daily walk. So it, ch- yeah. it changed how you process information, right. the decisions you make. Right. Um, and we've talked about that in this in this series. Right. right. But so far as even as how God changes your heart, mm-hmm. in one season maybe you're close-minded to something, mm-hmm. but a little bit down the road you say, hmm, maybe God could be in that. Yeah. But ha- that's happened because you've devoted your life right. to becoming a student of the book, right. which is what discipleship is. Mm-hmm becoming a lifelong learner so when you change your mind you change your life and when we do that we dive deep into like we're doing in this series what happens is suddenly we begin to realize these things aren't just theories right or theologies man this is legitimate stuff yeah so grab that early on you know grab that early on take that you know take the word literally take it to your take it to heart and Mm -hmm. and just begin to walk in that and and, and God will do uh, miraculous things throughout your life. You know, the ups and downs that we go through, uh, family, marriage, mm-hmm. business. Mm-hmm. You know, if you, if you can hang on to the Word of God, I mean, you'll get through all that. Yeah. You know, I mean, it seems like it's just the end when you run, in the, run up against a wall in, in some instances. And, you know, I mean, so many people, they... They, they'll end their life over stuff like that. Yeah. Suicide comes in because the enemy comes in and tells you that's the, only, that's the easy way out. That's the only way you're going to get through this thing. But it's a lie from the pit of hell and, 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 and walking in God's word and, and promises and the strength. Uh, he carries you right through it. Yeah. And it just wisdom comes with age. That's why I have all this gray hair. <laughs> yeah, that's what my dad says. He said, that's my old, not on my old age. That's my wisdom showing. So, Dad, a, a shout out to you for imparting that uh, colloquialism right. that is stuck in my brain. So, thank you for that, among many other things. So, I want to keep reading here. He says, um, bless the Lord, O my soul. Do not forget his benefits. So, we tie that in the arm of God. And Psalm 91, one, or Psalm 91, listen to this. Part of his ben- Listen to some of his benefits. Who pardons all your iniquities. There's a verse that says, with the Lord there's forgiveness of sin so that he can be revered and awed for who he is. The goodness of God, Mm -hmm. who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from the pit, who crowns you with loving kindness and compassion, who satisfies your years with good things. What did did David say in Psalm 91? He closed it out. With long life, God says, I'll satisfy you and show you my salvation. So those, that armor is is imagery that symbolizes how well protected and well covered you are by the covenant you have with God. Wow. And so even as simple as uh, when we pray, when we talk to God, when we meditate. Do, let me, in fact, let me ask you that. So 
So if you're a believer, I'm sure you pray. I'm sure you read the scriptures, but do you meditate on them? Do you turn, do you have, to meditate is an idea that you speak it to yourself under your breath. You kind of talk it through with yourself. Do you take time to meditate? When you meditate, let me give you a phrase. When you meditate, it will saturate. It gets deep down in you. And when it does, then transformation comes as a result of that. So that's really what he's saying here. I want you to meditate on these things. Think mm -hmm. about them. And you, when you do that, then you begin to have aha moments where the Holy Spirit helps you right. through the Word to say, this is where I can apply this. The helmet of salvation, how can I apply that? What do I need today with what I'm dealing with on my job where the helmet of salvation could benefit me from what I'm dealing with? Yeah. I mean, look at that. Redeems your life from yeah. the pit who crowns you with loving kindness and compassion. Yeah. And you know, that just that comes with time. You satisfy your years with good things mm -hmm. so that your youth will be renewed like the eagle. Wow. So even man. in uh, man there's so much you just you know and we're we're running out of time. We, yeah. So we've got to kind of wrap this up. Maybe maybe we'll just continue and take it further next where we're going to stop but we'll talk about down the road uh, after we're done shooting but it's there's just so much that emerges out of this, but um, when you just look at the goodness of God, you know, the truth is, even as even with this, it's not that he's the God of the second chance. He's got us so many chances, we stop counting. Right. I mean, would any of us be here if we only got a second chance? Seventy times seven? Exactly. <laughs> so, they're in, in a day. Yeah. In a, are, are, right. Is any of us that messed up right. that we mess up 490 times a day? Wow. Mm. You know? So, the the goodness of god it, it all comes back to that the goodness of god how faithful he is to honor his covenant with his people how faithful he is how desperately he loves us and mm -hmm. desires communion just desires us to seek him yeah on a daily basis and 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 put set him before you yeah and set his word before you and meditate and this is something that i want to challenge everyone with you listen i i know that you know, life isn't easy, it's stressful. We do battle, we just read it, we've talked about it this evening. Ephesians 6, against the powers of hell that war against us, and that's legitimate mm -hmm. uh, experience in the kingdom, and it ain't right. fun. Right. But be intentional. Yeah. Don't forget his benefits. Be intentional mm -hmm. about setting the goodnesses of God in your own life before you, set the scriptures before you, and carve out some space, even if it's just a 15 minute window of time, mm -hmm. where you sit down and you choose to think about nothing but the goodness of God. Right and his benefits. And then I guarantee you what's gonna happen is is you'll begin having some fresh insights. Yeah. The Holy Spirit will talk to you through right. that. Yeah, turn that TV off. <laughs> turn that phone off. And just get in a quiet place. Close and out meditate. that Netflix app for, the, for a few minutes. <laughs> That's <laughs> right. Like that. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, no. You got to you gotta find time just to get alone with him. Yeah. And uh, just let him speak to you. Yeah. yeah. Wow. He desires that. He desires that time. And when we take that time and we give that to him, he honors it mm -hmm. with his love, yeah. with his presence. Yeah. And that's where the joy and the peace of the Lord comes comes upon your life. And you begin to you begin to see the benefits that yeah. he has for us. You begin to seek out the promises. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and he desires to pour out those good gifts in our lives. We just have to seek after it. Go after it. It's there. Yeah. It's the promise of His Word. He created us for His good pleasure, yeah. and He wants to pour out good things on His children. Absolutely. So focus on, meditate on the goodness of God. Uh, last thing we're going to share with you from my perspective is uh, looking at the meaning. The Hebrew word for benefits is gemuel, and it means to reward, to compensate. Yeah. So something good that comes from God's hand. Um, maybe you're in a season where things have been tough and we all go through those seasons. Absolutely. And sometimes they're brutal, especially warfare. If you're in legitimate spiritual warfare, man, that is brutal. Yeah. Uh, but we're on here this evening to remind you of the goodness of God and that you are well equipped. God is so good. He has well equipped you with every resource you need to win and succeed at the battle that you're in. And not just the battle, but when the battle's over, you can move on mm -hmm. to success mm -hmm. and achieving the things God set in your life to do. And I just really believe from a very hopeful place in my own heart tonight that, that 
for those it's been a while that you've seen the goodness of God, God's going to begin showing you His goodness right. in ways that are really powerful. Mm -hmm. And so I encourage you to be intentional about yeah. meditating on the good things in His Word and the good things He's done in your life. Yeah. And let that help reorient your focus. Ken, right. any parting thoughts? Yeah, I mean, don't give up. And read that. Read Psalm 91 when you're feeling yeah. down. And, and the promises of God are right there for you. And, and, and then just begin to put that whole armor of, 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 of God on your life. Yeah. Dress, dress for that battle and, and, and go to war. Don't give up. Go hand go hand to hand contact with the devil. Yeah. Because God gives you the victory. We have the victory in Jesus Christ. So don't give up. Yeah, we hope you've enjoyed this series. It's time. Yeah. I've loved. It. I've enjoyed it's the been time great. together. Yeah, me too. And uh, look forward to to next week and following weeks that are coming ahead. Yeah, it'll be good. Uh, give Ken a shout out and a thumbs up. I think you've done an amazing job. Thank you. Uh, this won't be our last time together, by no. the way. But um, uh, so, but but I've just I've enjoyed this personally. This has been a fresh take and a fresh approach, and I've gotten a lot of feedback from you guys about this. And Ken, you've done an amazing job. You've Thank brought you. a great perspective, mm -hmm. and I uh, really appreciate you and everything God's doing in your life. Mm -hmm. And uh, just man, just we're excited for everything.